Yeah, Kirtana, welcome on your video. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Kirtana, let me congratulate you. You got selected in Airport Authority of India, ATC, uh, and congrats to you and your entire family for that. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So, Kirtana, we know that uh, if you uh, want to become ATC in Airport Authority of India, you can be from engineering or science background and uh, that, that there is an exam and that is how you go forward. So, we would like to know about your background, I mean your academic background, plus from which part of India you are and uh, from which college you graduated and which stream you graduated, uh, this background and then we proceed forward. Okay. Sir, so, I am from uh, Kannur, Kerala. Uh, and I did my graduation in electrical and electronics engineering in 2020 okay. from Garden Engineering College, Thrissur in Kerala. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Sir. Okay. And uh, uh, when did you graduate, uh, Kirtana, from there? In 2020. 20. So uh, then you did some job or you did some masters or you were just preparing? Yeah, sir, I worked in TCS for two years. And after okay. that, I had resigned and I was preparing for government exams for last one year now. Hmm. So was airport authority in your mind when you resigned and you wanted to prepare or you were preparing for no, many government jobs? No, sir, not at all. I was actually preparing for uh, staff selection commission, CGL exam, graduate exam. So I was hmm. preparing for that exam. Only hmm. after the exam, uh, after the answer key was rele released, my score was not as much as I had expected. So I was very hmm. disappointed with the the results of that exam. So only after that, during that time, ADC notification had come and one of my friend actually suggested me to prepare for this exam. So that's how I came to know about this exam and started preparing. It was a very random decision at that moment. Okay. Okay, Kirtana, now coming to uh, your resigning from TCS, which is a very good company. Uh, TCS, may, you must be working in the software domain and uh, you get opportunity to go abroad and pursue a really good career in foreign countries. So was that not lucrative for you? I mean, going there and doing wonderful jobs in corporate. Why you at the first place thought of government jobs? I actually wanted to explore something apart from software profile. So I wasn't really not fully interested. I was doing a good job. I really love my company. I really love the work and my colleagues, everything I had there. But I wanted to explore something different, something better. Mm, that is the reason why I initially resigned. So mm -hmm. after the CGL, after when uh, I got to know about ATC, initially when I started preparation, I was not really focused into ATC preparation. Uh, only like uh, maybe after one week, I went on and searched in YouTube what actually ATC was. I got, I wanted to know more about it. Uh, then I, I found some videos by Kerala News Channel on ATC day. I saw some videos where they were recording from the ATC tower. They were reporting about what the work being done by ATC. So they were interviewing the ATC. Uh, so that was very interesting. Uh, that's when I actually thought, okay, this is something I would like to do. It okay. looked like an engineer's job. It looked very interesting. Not mm -hmm. something like a, uh, a monotonous desk job. So this is a very interesting profile. Uh, that's when I actually started serious preparation for this. So I'm glad I came to this. Yeah. yeah. So you joined it or your joining is still uh, to be there? No, sir. Uh, still, still, the process is still pending. Okay. So, so once you become ATC, then uh, you join jobs in different parts of India. So, are you ready? Like from Kerala, you may be posted anywhere in the India. You're okay with that? It, 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 yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, so, whenever we are going for these uh, better profiles, we cannot be fully sure that we'll uh, get home posting. Hmm. Okay, no, Kirtana, when uh, this ATC exam comes, you get very less time to prepare for that because it is, uh, you know, very less duration may you have to complete it. And every year they are doing like that only. I mean, very less time is given. So how could you cope up? Uh, how could you prepare? Like when the notification came and then you immediately started, please share with us your that experience also. Okay, so first, uh, first I was also doubtful because how much to prepare, I didn't know exactly. But then I went into the syllabus and realized that half it exam consists of technical and non-technical parts. So non-technical part, uh, GK, English, aptitude, reasoning. I was okay in that part because I was as I was already already preparing for the other exams. So mm -hmm. uh, I didn't really focus much on the non-technical part. I had to learn, uh, I had to prepare for the technical part. So physics and math. Uh, mm -hmm. I I was okay. I wouldn't say I remembered everything, but uh, I was good in my school. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't have to learn from scratch. Also, mm -hmm. I referred good materials. 
i took job edu initially i started preparation by using my entrance coaching books and all that was mm-hmm. not going anywhere i was also getting confused how much to study how to study uh, mm-hmm. then i took your pdf course and i went step by step each topics i went and covered i talk mm-hmm. about important topics first then i went mm-hmm. on to solve uh, previous year mocks then i realized mm-hmm. which topics i was missing out and mm-hmm. learned the concept that of those particular topics that i felt i was weak in mm-hmm. so step by step i had covered all topics i made a list of all topics when i started to preparation that's the first thing i did i uh, wrote all the topics and subtopics that needs to be covered so and then put a priority order referring to all the youtube videos that are available like right? which topics are most so all the important topics i put a priority order then i covered each one by one so then mm-hmm. i was able to like strategically move forward like mm-hmm. here and there means it will be like fully will get confused where to do because there are quite some content to be con- covered So mm. step by step we we move i think it will be able to cover a lot of topics in short mm. time okay so kirtana like uh, if i talk about physics because i i uh, take that physics topic also in atc and all and i realize that it's a very vast subject actually physics is very vast that way subject you know you have to cover what you learn in two years in maybe 20 days so what kind of strategies a student should follow for these kind of big subjects i would say first uh, start with important topics like electrostatic magnetism gravitation optics mm-hmm. ray optics wave optics uh, topic questions are usually more commonly asked so mm-hmm. that will give you some confidence while you are attempting some mocks also start mocks uh, mm-hmm. right from the beginning do attempt mocks then you'll get to know what kind of questions are being asked also there are no very deep uh, topics or complicated numericals are not usually asked so you have to be uh, uh, aware that you should know all the concepts that well mm-hmm. the basic concepts has to be properly understood mm-hmm. uh, so give more importance to that mm-hmm. don't go very dig deep, deep in not je level uh, such physics is not needed uh, have a good that. understanding yeah mm-hmm. have good understanding of all topics and attempt questions attempt mocks attempt chapter tests so that will give you a lot of confidence and also so analyze not- mocks very well yeah no there are so many topics as you said you know there is a physics there is a english there is a reasoning general awareness so how a student should prepare i mean he should parallelly prepare all these topics or uh, typically what is a schedule uh, i mean if we ask you kirtana like what was a typical schedule for you every day how many hours and how many hours how many hours to be given to what subjects because these are the queries of the students how many hours we should give to physics every day sir and how many hours we should give to this subject that subject so what is the answer to that so for me actually i had very little time left less than 30 days for preparation so uh, and as i was also not working i had enough time i was in a hostel i had enough time so i did spend more than 10 hours every day uh, till the exam and for me also non technical part also i didn't uh, had to give much importance so i was fully focusing on physics and math throughout the day uh, for students i would say initially when you prepare uh, start preparing give a previous year mock and understand how confident are you in technical and non technical part if you are good in non technical you can give some more time to technical part uh, if you are not good in non technical part you uh, different the uh, find time to do that as well uh, for technical part i would say for non technical again um, for english gk only 10 marks so i don't know how much importance you'll have to give if you are completely new to this but uh, quant reasoning in english uh, learn the basics and attempt questions there will be so many uh, questions of ssc previous exams mm-hmm. uh, it the pattern is quite similar to cgl and chs exams conducted by ssc uh, mm-hmm. so you can you can find so many previous year questions practice the questions it's important to score much in non technical exam because it's easy and you will save a lot of time if you are good at it good at it so and the questions are also not very complicated so reasoning and quant questions if you do some practice i think you might be able to do well Hmm. and and kirtana now uh, uh, what uh, i mean how many hours per day are sufficient and for how many days for this exam uh, it, it will depend to person to person how much uh, they will be able to yeah for me so, i i didn't have anything else in mind so i was fully focused in this exam so i took maximum time my could and also hmm. short time so, so i did invest that? more than 10 hours every day I did invest more than ten hours, hours every day. Yes, yes. Mm. Because only so more, time. Notes making, presses making. Does that help? Presses making short yes, notes yes. and all. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Uh, mm. 
because it i for me as i i left college in 2020 and after that mm. i didn't attempt anything any exams or anything technical mm. i was working in software and uh, but nothing related to electrical or anything i hadn't done so when i started preparation i felt like i was starting something new so i had to write notes initially so and i did i did write notes and it helped very well for revision i did i i maintained two notes first full notes and then one formula booklet so both were easier for me while revising also revision is also very important just note making won't help uh, revise continuously we have to revise we should it shouldn't it shouldn't be like uh, i uh, wrote all the notes and just last two days i'll revise that doesn't work i thought like that way but uh, that doesn't help we have to be continuously revising topics when we are moving forward continuous revision will help us a lot in remembering okay kirtana now we know this exam is very competitive and that is reflected in the cutoffs also so can you share with us what what was the cutoff uh, selection cutoff for atc this year i am from general category so uh, general cutoff was around 103 my score okay. my row score calculated according to answer key was uh, 98 mm. uh, but the cutoff was 103 and i am expecting around 5 to 6 marks could have been increased because some questions objections were raised against two three questions and also mm. normalization Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so cut off score was one not three, yeah, one zero three. No, sir, ninety eight was my initial answer key score. Other score it hasn't come yet. So I'm not sure okay. about the final score. Cut off score was one not three. Sorry, it's one not three point two something. Cut off one not three. Yes, sir. And your score was my initial answer key. According to answer key, it was ninety eight. Uh, okay. But it could have been raised after normalization. Okay, okay. It could okay, have okay. been. Okay. Okay. So this one or three is after they have given the cutoff for this. Yes. Yes. And what was after the cutoff previous year? Uh, last year it was different or similar? It was. It was lesser, I guess, around ninety-five or something. It was not above hundred for sure. Hmm. So this one uh, not three. How many marks? I mean, out of which marks you were getting ninety-eight? Total. What was the total? Uh, yeah, I scored fifty marks in technical part and forty-eight in non-technical. Mm. so that is out of how much i mean uh, what is uh, this is each out of 120 120, 120. so both are 60 60 yes yeah, 60 60 okay so that means you almost got 50 out of 60 in each yes yes mm, wonderful okay so um, i i believe every year uh, students should target that much only i mean 100 plus only mm-hmm. they should target right yes yes because this year again uh, while preparing also i was focusing on 95 i was not getting enough for mocks my score was always below 90 so i wasn't even expecting 98 but uh, cut off was also i was expecting cut off to be around 95 but uh, exam was comparatively easier i guess uh, the questions were like easy to moderate level no hard questions or uh, uh, in general the exam difficulty level was easy to moderate so that could have been the reason the cut off went uh, higher this year so we cannot predict fully next year how it is going to be it will highly it, if the exam gets tough the cut off might decrease uh it all depends from year to year we cannot be fully sure okay kirtan and then we have heard that there is a uh, you know another test also listening or speaking test is also there what is that uh, there is voice test there is voice medical test. test then voice test medical test uh, psychoanalytic substance test the voice test is also very important mm. what is there in voice test uh, kirtan Voice test. When I have inquired with my seniors, I realized that they are actually te- uh, testing if we are stammering or any other problem. Uh, mm-hmm. If you are able to communicate properly, because communication is very important in this job. Mm-hmm. So, so that still is to be there, huh? That still is to be yes, there. Yes, 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 yes. It's mm-hmm. still to be there. And they are followed by medical test and all. Medical test. Hmm. Chalo, that is wonderful. So, if everything goes, then uh, until what time you can expect your joining, Kirtana, in this? Hmm. Not fully sure, but maybe three four months. Within three okay. four months would be. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is wonderful. So, Kirtana, now any message you want to give to the students who are listening to you, or and we want to become ATC. I would suggest be confident and prepare because uh, con- you should have the confidence. Uh, it is a tough exam. There are so many people competing. It's a highly responsible job. So, mm-hmm. while preparing, also you ha- should have that in mind when you are targeting something big. You should be that confident and that focused, and it's mm. not something impossible again. People mm. write and qualify this; it's mm. it's easy. It's something which you have learned previously in school, 
so mm. it's not something very new you, you can learn if you could do it in 12th standard you can very well do it now so focus and prepare and practice more questions practice more mocks and like more mocks and it's also a major ne- positive thing is there is no negative mark for this exam so you can attempt all questions there is also a scope of guessing even if you don't know the answer if you could give a good guess there is again a scope of scoring in that part as well so mm. confidently prepare for the exam mm. i would mm. i would always suggest kitna when the student can expect an, uh, again the notification of this exam because it comes last year it will come twice i suppose so uh, mm. when can they expect another atc exam i'm not fully sure <laughs> maybe after the procedure we'll get them but normally it comes every year uh, yes yes normally last year even uh, last step there was an exam i guess and december mm. again so mm. we can expect within uh, maybe 6 months or so we can exam really exam. expect next time mm. chalo that is wonderful so that brings us to an end of this wonderful interactive session kirtna with you and again i i'll thank you for your time and uh, again wish you all the very best for this wonderful job i'm sure you will do great in that particular uh, profession thank you thank you thank you so much